me as your guide, I figure you can't go wrong. Looks like you've been outfitted with all the right gear. Go on and get settled. all about. Beautiful, Buck. Beautiful. What I tell you, just perfect, huh? I know this country like the back of my hand. Every tree, rock, and critter in it. I think tomorrow we ought to... Washington County, Pennsylvania. So, let's see what you can do. For your first trip, we'll start off smooth. I'm going to drop you into Western Pennsylvania. They're known for their great whitetail hunting. While you're there, try a little fishing. And if you're lucky, you might even get the chance to take down an elk. We'll start you at a spot where I know for a fact there are some bucks. Get ready. Henry Mountains, Utah. Those were some nice deer you bagged on your last hunt. For this trip, we're heading up into the Henry Mountains. This is a rugged and isolated area in southeastern Utah. It's also a prime spot to hunt Rocky Mountain mule deer. While you're up here, keep an eye out for bighorn sheep and bobcat. There's also some good trout fishing if you can find a decent lake. And I hope your bow hunting skills are up to it because there's a season limited to archery. West Klickitat, Washington State. You've proved you can handle a shotgun. Up here you'll have to start out with your smoke pole. That's right. At first it's strictly muzzleloader season. Hope you're a good shot. These Colombian blacktails won't wait around for you to reload. <laughs> if you brought your fishing tackle, find a stream. They're stocked with salmon. Delta County, Michigan. You know, you're not half bad. Ready for the monster whitetails up in the UP? That's what the locals call the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Up here, you'll need all your skills to bag one of these babies. Watch out for wolves and skunks. Both are shy, but you wouldn't want to cross them. Prince of Wales Island, Alaska. It's been a while since I've been able to guide someone as far north as Alaska. Oh, I must be getting old. I do remember some good spots for Sitka blacktails. And I've also had run-ins with bears and the occasional lynx. So watch your back. Find a lake to do some fishing. They've got some beautiful Arctic grayling up here. I'll be keeping tabs on your progress while you're hunting around the island. White Pine County, Nevada. You're starting to collect a fine list of trophies. Maybe you should be doing my job. You'll need to bring back some big desert muleys before that happens. <laughs> this is hot and dry country. Next to the muleys, you might take a gander at desert bighorns and coyotes. Look for their watering holes. Sometimes, there's even some crappie to catch in these waters. Taylor's Island, Maryland. This island has one of the only Sika deer herds outside of a game ranch. It's thick with trees and wet with streams, so spotting one may be tough. Once we get your gear unloaded, head out and Scout for Sika. The stags are pretty frisky this time of year. You might even run across some good spots for bass fishing. And keep an eye open for black bears too, especially females with cubs. They'll charge you if they think you're a threat. Kerr County, Texas. You made it this far. Ready for another hunt? We're taking a trip to the Texas Hill Country. It's home to some great hunting, deer and otherwise. This game ranch has some spectacular access bucks, Texas-sized and great for hanging on your wall. They've also got javelina, but boy, I'll tell you, 
Those suckers sure do stink. Whew! Saskatchewan, Canada. Now this is one of my favorite spots in the world for deer hunting. You'll be going after fallow deer. They've got palmated antlers, like on a moose. Oh, and watch out for moose. <laughs> Canada has some of the biggest around. They can get awful ornery if you come up on them too fast. You might spot some beavers near the water if you're fishing for pike. Chihuahua, Mexico. Not the most comfortable way to travel, but it'll do. We'll be in Chihuahua soon enough. We'll be going after some lightning fast game. Cows deer are known for their speed and ability to blend into their surroundings. Just like the pronghorns and jackrabbits they share the desert with, you'll have to be stealthy and quick to bag one of these guys. Southern Alps, New Zealand. I know it's been a long flight and a long road to get here, but when you see your first red deer on your first morning out, you'll see why it was worth it. Red deer, or red stag as the locals call them, are huge and sport some gigantic racks. Don't confuse them with elk. They're cousins, but they're not the same. And you may have the opportunity to hunt both. While on your trip, try your luck in the streams for some trout. This is your final trip and your final test. You'll need to take a couple of nice bulls before you're done. Well, you did it. You proved yourself quite a hunter and you survived. Quite a reputation you built. <laughs> but there's something I gotta tell you. All these hunts, all these adventures weren't just for fun. I was testing you, watching how you handle yourself in the field. <sighs> you see, I wasn't just helping you along. I was training my replacement. That's right. I'm getting a little too old for this, can't keep up. And I figure you got just what it takes to be an expert hunter. In fact, you're the best I've seen in quite a spell. So what do you say? Let's get all these trophies back to Cabela's. Son of a gun, I think they might be needing to hire a new guide.